Hey lovelies, um, so, new floss tube video update, I've got, um, a FO, uh, two new starts, and I'm gonna show you guys another craft I've kind of started doing, which is latch hook, um, and talk about, I guess, my future stitchy plans, um, First off, I want to say thank you to everyone who has newly subscribed and for everyone who has stayed subscribed. You guys are awesome and so nice. I've never gained this many new subscribers before, so thank you so much. And yeah, if you're a stitcher too, I've been subscribing in more and more to other floss tubers, so I'd love to have more people to connect to. I wish that um, YouTube still had collections because it was so nice to be able to be like, I'm in a floss tube mood or I'm in a book tube mood and I can sort all my channels, subscriptions, but now I can't. Oh well, I make it work. So, all right, let's do um, my finished object first. So for this one, I need to wash it and dry it, iron it, rehoop it. Um, this is the one for my dad. Let your faith be bigger than your fears. Oh god, and you can see all of the stitching in the back because of the lighting here. <laughs> I know, I feel so ashamed. Hopefully he won't be putting it in a place where you'll be able to see that, because as you can see, I kind of carry my threads around there. Da -da -da. So yeah, I know my hand. Okay. Let your stage faith be bigger than your fears. So that was quick and easy. I've left my mistake <laughs> right over here in there because it's not particularly noticeable and I'm lazy. So yeah, got to get that actually fully finished soon. It won't take long because I'm just going to re-hoop, put it back in the hoop and then cut the edges like I did for the one for my Grammy. Um, and hopefully Daddy likes it. Um, it was a quick, easy stitch. I would have finished it faster, but um, I ended up uh, going away for a weekend with my husband and his family. So that kind of cut into stitching time, but I'm not going to complain about, complain about having fun, you know? Um, my next one is one of my new starts. This is for my friend Peggy. She and I are dog buddies. Um, we to go hiking with our dogs together. We both volunteer at the Humane Society and foster dogs, both crazy dog ladies. So, I did. Nice little Lizzie Kate. Dogs leave paw prints on your heart. Super cute. Um, I have, it's not finished because I don't have the three other colors that I need. Also, I use the DMC conversion instead of the Weeks Dye Works. Um, it's, it's mostly because I'm really lazy, don't want to have to buy, um, you know, hand-dyed threads. Like, I'm just lazy, cheap, and also, um, I like the fact that DMC's color fast. I imagine most of the hand-dyed ones are not. And I I do wash my hands and I try to keep my cross stitches as clean as possible, but I do have animals and whatnot. And I keep them in little plastic baggies, but I mean, I can't help it. I, I do think they still get a little bit grimy. And um, I just think for, you know, time, like over time they could get worse. And I want to keep things as nice as possible. So I like to wash my projects after. But anyway, um, basically what's left is, of course, the coloring for the little doggy house. There's a little bit of grass and another line at the bottom here. And there's a little paw print behind the word heart. So um, I am hoping to go shopping with my friend Paul this weekend and get the other colors that I need. We'll see. Um, if I don't end up going shopping with him, obviously I'll just have to make an extra trip to Michael's at some point. Um, yeah, I'm 
lazy, so I don't really want to have to go there for just that, but yeah, I'll make it work. And then my, because I did as much as I could for that project, um, I've started my next project for my husband, because his birthday is the beginning of December, and then this one is for Christmas. All right, funny enough, I've used another Sparkle Ada. The other one I used was um, my silver Sparkle Ada. This is gold Sparkle Ada. I feel a little bit silly because this could have fit, I think, on my like off-white fabric that I used um, for the project I did for Paul. Um, but I, according to the stitch calculator I had, the fabric calculator rather, it said that it wouldn't be big enough. Um, I think it would have. I think it would work, but I didn't want to risk it. Like I was just like, I've, I don't want to risk it, so. I um, decided to do it on this instead because I had a bigger piece. And you know, it's showing up better in this light, but it didn't show up very well in my other light. So um, this is what it is. <laughs> that's all I've done so. So that's all I've done so far. It's a Clouds Factory piece, and this one is Scientists Who Changed the World. I'm working on Darwin right now. Um, it's kind of interesting how I've changed stitching styles. I used to always start in the middle because I just felt like I had to start in the middle. That was the easiest place to start. And now I feel like I can actually, I've gotten good enough to count to the edge, which is kind of neat. But anyway, um, so yeah, I'm going to work on that more tonight. I'm hoping it doesn't take too long to finish. I think it'll be, pr it's a pretty easy project overall. Um, hopefully my husband likes it and... Yeah, I'll try to remember to um, link Cloud's Factory below. I don't have any particularly deep thoughts on it yet, other than I'm not too happy with how the floss is showing up on the color Ada I chose. Like, I thought it would be really noticeable and it would show up really well, but it doesn't seem to be, like, standing out as much as I would have thought, which is weird. It stood out fine on the off-white stuff, and, I mean, this is, like, a bit of a darker color, so I thought, yeah, it'll stand out better, but it's not. I don't know if it's the gold, uh, uh, gold sparklies or what. I'm not too worried about it. Right now I need to buy more um, fabric and the flosses for the other projects that I'm working on. Um, I'm hoping to do that soon again. Uh, yeah, I guess that all of the stuff I've done, I went through that way faster than I expected. I thought I would ramble on forever. Um, so yeah, um, one other thing that I do sometimes is latch hook. I've only finished one latch hook project, so it's not like I'm hardcore into it. But I'll show you the one I finished, because, you know, just in case people are interested. This is a kit with um, Wonder Art. And then this is a puppy. It's really, really cute. I love puppies, as I mentioned before. I have no idea what to do with this thing. I also over trimmed it because I was going to hang it, but this comes right out. So I have no idea what to do with my puppy. Like frame the puppy, put the puppy on the wall. I'm not going to use it as an actual rug. I don't know what to do with this, but it's really cute. And I probably could make it a wall hanging, but I'd have to like reinforce this or like I could probably like put tacks in the middle and it would be fine. I don't know, but I like my puppy. The next one I have, I have one other kit for latch hook. Um, this kitty, I figured it would go thematically with the puppy. I'm going to do that at some point. Um, I'll get into that too about when I plan on doing it because I'm going to talk about my future stitching plans real quick. Um, again, I'm like breezing through this. So right now, my stitching plans are to do... Um, you know, once I get the other colors, I'm going to finish the one for Peggy. Then I'm I'm, I'm going to finish the one for my husband, and I plan on doing one more cross stitch before Christmas. I'm hoping, I'm hoping, which is one for my mom, a Christmas one for my mom. Her birthday's Christmas Eve, so I've got that other one done. Um, just need to get it framed. Um, but I gotta get. I'd like to do this Christmas one too. It. I am going to be cutting it kind of close, I think. We'll have to see what I can manage. Um, my plan is, um, even if I manage to get that done um, well before Christmas, I think realistically, 
I don't think I'm going to be able to finish any other projects. Like, originally I was really hoping, like, yeah, I'm going to finish this and that, and if I get done early enough, I'll do one for this person, for that person. I really like cross-stitching for other people. It just, I, it seems like such a lovely gift to be like, I spent all this time on you, and, you know, I, yeah, it just seems like a really nice gift. I just, realistically, I think it'll be better for me, and it'll make more sense if I stop after the one for my mom, because the thing is, I have to make these fully finished objects. I've got to get them cleaned, ironed, mounted on um, mounted on poster board, and then um, framed. And if I have any hopes of doing that before Christmas, realistically, I I don't think you know. Even if I have a good amount of time. I just think, realistically, I'm going to have to stop um, once I finish the one for my mom if I want to have any goal of getting all these done. So after I'm done with the one for my mom, I'm finally going to stitch something for myself. I have yet to stitch anything for myself. And these are the things I'm kind I've got like three projects that I'm kind of trying to decide between, so I'd love to have people's input. Two of these you've already seen before, so I'm not going to go hardcore into them here, but I just figured I'd let you guys know. Um, number one is the wolf kit I have from Dimensions. I like wolves. Doesn't look too intense. Looks like a good, like, more challenging beginner piece. Um, so that's my first idea of something to do. This one's probably the one I'm leaning the least towards. And then the one I'm leaning the most towards right now... So it's from one of my mom's magazines, uh, Cross Stitchers, uh, Volume 5, Number 2. Cover looks like this. And I can't show you the chart. Let me see. I, they have a little picture of the finished project. <laughs> Wait till you see this. You guys are going to laugh. So I really like dinosaurs. Don't care. I'm an adult woman with no children. I like dinosaurs. And Triceratops is my favorite. And I'm gonna I wanna stitch Triceratops. There it is! Oh my god! Okay. It's Triceratops. There we go. Sorry. Just making sure I can. They also have Stegosaurus and Brontosaurus. Apatosaurus now, but like, oh, it's so cool. So that's what I really want to stitch the most, I think. But my other idea is instead of going right to Triceratops, because Triceratops, that one looks like, um, looks a little bit bigger than what I've been doing, but it doesn't look too difficult. Um, I'd call it, like, more difficult beginner to almost intermediate piece. And then we've got a more intermediate, I don't know, I guess you'd call this intermediate. I don't think most people would consider this really difficult. It's not full coverage. But anyway, we've got... The Glory of Autumn by Dimensions kit that my mom got me. One thing I was thinking was, I, I don't think I'm going to be able to actually finish that. I think it's a little too big and intense for me at this point in time, and I'm kind of timid. Like, I've seen some people who just, like, go right into the heaven and earth designs, and I'm not one of those people. Like, that's just, I think, I think I'd rather work up to it. Um, I don't want to give up on the idea of doing a heaven and earth. Just not yet. Um, but anyway... I was thinking that I would start the Glory of Autumn piece and that I would do it um, until I would do it until the new year and then um, I'm gonna take a break at the new year from stitching and I'm gonna do the kitty latch hook kit. That's my plan. And then I think I would do the Triceratops after. That's what I'm kind of leaning towards. Um, because I, like, again, I'm not, or I might just do the Triceratops and not start the other kit. I don't know. But anyway, I'm curious what other people think. I don't really care about stitching something out of the season. I could just do it during the fall every year or something. It would take me a long time to finish it, though. So that's what I'm kind of thinking, like, eh, I don't know. I'm, I'm not really sure. But I do know that once the new year hits, I'd like to start off doing my kitty latch hook kit. And 
Um, I don't know if I'll be able to finish it. I forget how long the other latch hook kit took me. But if it takes me too long, I would probably do it for like three or four weeks and then go back to stitching. Because I really do love stitching. I feel a really big affinity for it. I don't want to stop stitching. I've heard some people who got into different crafts and then stopped stitching and then they went back to stitching. I want to stitch. But I do think it will be nice to take a little bit of a break, especially because I'm doing like a lot more stitching um, for the holidays. And I just also, um, I don't know, I think it'll be fun to kind of mix it up a little bit here and there. Latch hook kits, I don't plan on replacing stitching with latch hook kits, that's for sure. They're expensive, and I know that with cross stitch, I've seen other people's videos, and it does look like it gets expensive if you start doing big pieces with lots of beads and stuff, and all the fancy fabric and, and floss and whatnot. So yeah, I, I do see that cross stitch can be expensive too, but like latch hook kits, even for something that's not super intense, they get to, most of them seem to be 40 to 60 bucks for your average latch hook kit. And it's like, that's a good hunk of money for a craft that isn't very difficult and doesn't take that long. So I think I'm only going to do one or two latch hook kits a year. Um, I think I can justify spending the money if I don't do that many. And still focusing on cross-stitch is my main thing. Um, yeah, so I think that's enough blathering on it for today. Yeah, so I'd love to hear opinions on what I should work on next, if anyone else has ideas. Um, if any of you do latch hook, just let me know. That's, that's cool, too. I'm into that. Um, yeah, and just any thoughts and opinions, I'd love to hear them. We'll see how much I can get done before Christmas. Hope you're all doing well, and bye!